Hi ladies and gents, it's uh, me again with the 308 cartridges or the cases that I've taken out all the primers so here you can see uh, all of the primers have been taken out and there's a lot of carbon inside so they will have to be cleaned out and that's the same batch of cartridge of, of cases it's uh, all the poor's so all these are from the same uh, batch so it's a hundred so I've got 50 year and 50 year uh, I'm going to split it up so this one I'm going to split up between the two uh, tumblers so here's the one tumbler with the corn cob in it going wild and then here's the other tumbler with some uh, walnut uh, crushed walnut uh, in there also going wild so I'm going to use uh, I've got some 375 cases here now if you look closely uh, some of these cases like that one over there it's already starting to show fatigue there so there's head separation so that's why I'm, I've rejected them so this one next shot it will be broken off so I'm going to use two cases each per type of uh, process that I'm going to use so there's going to be 50 in the one tumbler 50 in the other tumbler and then what I also have here I've got the stainless media tumbler now you should be able to see the the bottom of the uh, stainless media there I've got some clean water in there so I'm going to throw another 25 uh, cases in here and then next to it here I've got the ultrasonic cleaner once you you switch it on so this is the on off uh, switch over here um, you can you can see the the vibration that the ultrasonic uh, causes now you can uh, switch it off again and here you have a timer that you can set so there I'm going to set it so it's 180 seconds it's 280 seconds 380 seconds and 480 seconds and if you press it again it starts from 90 again here is the temperature so if you switch this on it will heat up you can see the little light coming on here so it will heat up the uh, water there uh, warm water works uh, quite a bit better I've just thrown normal tap water hot tap water in here um, and yeah so I'm going to throw it in now so give me a second or so and I'll come back to you in a minute okay now as you can see here I've put in the half a batch of the one lot so there is the one batch so there's 25 cases in the walnut uh, tumbler and then the rest of them uh, the, the other 25 uh, these are those going in here so that I'm just going to dump in in this one over here okay so there we've got 25 of each here's my two three seven five uh, cases that i'm going to put in as a reference you can see they're all dirty there's some markings on it so there they go in and then i've got two others uh, going into the walnut uh, this one is also quite nicely cracked at the back so there they go in so that'll be a reference for the uh, uh, tumblers to see how good they clean from a fairly dirty brass right up to the finish of it after about an hour and a half or so okay so i'm just going to turn around once again and then we're going to do the same thing here with the ultrasonic so the the ultrasonic cleaner it's got its uh, tray inside so in the goes my two uh, 375 cases and then Here's the here's the brass that's going to go in there so I select 25 cases from this over here and they go in there
Okay, so there the 25 cases is in. Now, one of the things that's still absent is the uh, special mixture of mine, which I put in there. So it's uh, not a lot that I put in. It's about a spoonful, a tablespoonful of, of this mix. Uh, and then once that's in, it, it, it can do its, its bit there. So uh, that is how much I throw in there. And that's it. So now this one can go as well. You've got a lid that you can put on. So just keep the handles off there. So I'm going to set it here for 480 seconds and then it's a matter of go and you can immediately see the brass and so on starts making funny ripples and the water does make ripples and so on so this is going to do for a couple of of, of minutes now and then that's it so be closing the lid there and uh, then the next one up is in this the stainless uh, tumbler just want to get the brass close by so here's the brass so we're going to throw that in so they go in and as you can see there there's the water in there So there's 25 cases into the stainless tumbler and then here once again is my uh, two uh, 375 pieces of brass and so they are also going in there. The next thing up for this one it's got a lid, a waterproof lid that screws on fairly tight so you have to, to screw it on tight because it's lying horizontal and then you're going to have a problem if it's not tight enough to run so i'm going to just put it onto the the wheels the motor okay and the, the it's set up f for that now you've got the timer over here so the timer i'm just going to turn here for about an hour and a half and there it goes So there's the, uh, the stainless tumbler going, there's the ultrasonic going, and then over here there's the corn top, and there's the walnut going. So uh, when it's done, I'll come and show you what it looks like after it's, it's been through all the different processes here. Okay, just one thing um, I forgot to mention to you, uh, I've added a little bit of this this is my uh, mixture that i use it's time that i make some more about a tablespoonful of this and uh, what i've also uh, doing uh, what i also do is to add some of this lemme shine into it as well not a lot uh, just uh, about a, yeah, half a tablespoon as well and that's it so now it's going back onto the machine and uh, after about an hour and a half we'll uh, come and open it up and see what it looks like okay ladies and gents um, I've had the brass in the corn cob uh, tumbler and the brass in the uh, the walnut for about two hours down so I'm going to take them off let's have a look at a couple of these just to see what they do um, you know, this is typically something that uh, that annoys me from the uh, from the corn cob so now you've got a small little piece of corn cob sitting right in the primer there and now you have to get it out before you can do anything so there it goes out so now it's it's all right now if you look at the primer pocket itself it's not really very clean the outside is fairly shiny it's uh, it's clean so let's have a look at another one uh, 
And there you sit with a more or less the same problem. There's a couple of pieces of corn cob uh, that's sitting in the primer pocket. So you have to get that out. There's still another piece sitting right in the flash hole. So you have to get that. So that's that's uh, one of the things that I uh, that annoys me a little bit from the corn cob. It, it makes clean, fairly clean. If you as you can see there, it's a fairly nice and bright, uh, shiny uh, piece of a brass here. On the inside of the neck, if you have a look there. Uh, it's also not shiny. Uh, it's it's clean, but it's not shining that much. So let's have a look at a couple of the ones from the from the walnut. Uh, here you sit with similar problem. There is also a piece of walnut uh, stuck in the primer pocket. Okay, there it goes out. So now that one is is re ready. Um, they also um, I, this is also you know it's 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 a nice shiny uh, piece of brass it's clean on the outside uh, they use it with corn uh, with the um, walnut in the primer pocket and in the uh, there you go there's uh, that's piece of that so now they have to shake it as well so there's a lot of, of it still in, in the uh, case there so yeah so this is the uh, corn cob and this is the uh, walnut I'm going to eventually take them out and I'm going to split them in two. So I'm going to have the walnut in the first uh, 25 pieces there and I'm going to have the corn cob on this uh, 25 over here. And in the next tray next, next to it, I'll put the uh, my, uh, ultrasonic cleaner in the one side and the uh, stainless steel tumbler on the other side. And then we can, can, can do some comparisons. I'll I'll dig out the 375 uh, uh, cases in there, or I'll cut them open, and then you can see what really is going on inside those cases. So here's the stainless tumbler now. Okay, so I'm going to open this one up. And let's see how things look like inside. Okay, there you go. Okay, this is normally a little bit more of a messy job to get everything out here because it's got water. Now the uh, mixture that is uh, placed in here has got some soap in here. So eventually there, by the time you get to the water, some of the bubbles might come out. But let's dig some, some of these brass out here. I've got a couple in my hand, just trying to grip them properly. And then I'll take them out. Okay. Oh, and here I've got a 375 piece of brass as well. And there's one of the others. So I'm just going to wipe them off dry with a piece of cloth. And that's what they look like after they've been in the tumbler now for uh, also about an hour and a half. If you look close by, You'll see, uh, once we cut them open, you'll see the minimum amount of carbon that's still stuck inside there. So yeah, this is what they look like. Uh, this is um, the stainless steel. So I'm going to put the uh, couple of them inside here. So that is the uh, 308 and there's the 375. So I'll split them up here. Let's just take it right, one, one more. Two, three or more and see what they look like oh, and there's another 375 round there or case uh, just shake all the water out as much as possible and just wipe it immediately off with a clean cloth and there you have it uh, that's that's what they look like you know so they are are fairly nice and clean so I'm going to place them in there as well. So these these uh, stainless tumblers. Now I'm going to open up the ultrasonic cleaner. I've put the ultrasonic cleaner through uh, four times the uh, sequence. So it's a 480 uh, seconds times four. So you can see there's some 
there's some dirt in there. I mean, it was clean, clean water. Just shake it a little bit to get all the rubbish out and so on that's still inside there or that might still be inside there. And as you can see, there's some steam coming on because of the heat uh, that was put on. And this is what they look like. So we take one or two, they're quite warm, and uh, see what they come out like. Yeah, they are clean. Uh, the primer pocket is clean, that you can see there. But they're not as shiny as from the stainless or the one of the other tumblers. <coughs> so there's another one. Let's just see what that one looks like. So yeah, that's also clean. The primer pocket is clean to a fair amount. Uh, the inside is reasonably clean. Uh, once we cut open the 375, let's see what they look like. Uh, well, if you take this one here, compared to the one that I've taken out of the stainless tumbler, uh, there's a massive difference in there. So, although it's clean, uh, it's not as shiny bright as the stainless uh, tumbler. So, yes, but, but these are clean. Um, you know, that's what you want. If you want it clean, it will take you uh, maybe two or three cycles of 480 seconds and your brass will come out clean. So, there's, it, it hasn't cleaned out all the carbon in the primer pockets, but it's clean. So, you know, these are good to go. And... Uh, there they clean all the carbon is not 100% off on the necks so it's there's another one there so you can see the uh, they clean or fairly clean but they're definitely not the, the bright shiny bright uh, of any one of the others so yes the, uh, the ultrasonic's got its place uh, but this is a uh, a one-on-one -on -one comparison uh, with all, all four different methods that I've uh, taken now. And uh, you can judge for yourself. Uh, this one's got its place uh, if you want to do something quick. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to take all of them out eventually. Uh, so if you, in, in my next clip, I'll have them out and, and um, uh, dry it up uh, with these that came out of the water. I put the... Uh, air compressor nozzle inside here. I just blow out all the water and I just wipe out all the water on the on the sides so there's no uh, marks on the outside caused by the water or the chemicals or anything like that. So um, yeah, uh, in the next half an hour or more, uh, roughly that, I will have all them out and dry it and then we can do a proper comparison and then we'll start cutting up one or two of these uh, 375 cases uh, that's in there. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now, and it's actually quite a noisy affair uh, to get all the water out of the uh, cases or out of the brass. So I get about four of them in my hand and then just, you know, blow them. So this will be quite a bit noisy, so just bear with me for that second or two. And then the inside on the other side. Okay, now they're dry, inside and outside, and now they go to the train, and I'll grab a couple of more of the other, of the ones that came out of the ultrasonic cleaner, uh, another four or five of them. So there I've got another four, and the same happens to them. So blow them out from the back, the primer, pocket, the flash hole, and then the inside. Okay, and there they clean. So it's not necessarily to put them in the sun. 
Uh, you can, but then normally what happens is you get watermarks on the brass and that doesn't look nice. And you also tend to battle to get them out again once, you know, those marks are on your brass. So the compressor works fine. Uh, this is exactly the same what I'm going to do with the ones in the stainless tumbler. So this is just to give you an idea on how I get my brass uh, dry. Okay, ladies and gents, um, I've got the end results here of the different media that I use to clean the brass. Uh, th these 25 over here, I've used the crushed walnut. And then the 25 from there to here, I've used the corn cob. And then the 25 from here to there, I've used the ultrasonic cleaner. And then the 25 on this side, I've used the stainless steel pin uh, tumbler. Uh, with the two pieces of uh, 375 brass that I've t uh, also put in, in each and every one as a reference to see how they look like after um, the different periods. I've had the, the corn cob and the uh, walnut uh, roughly about two, two and a half hours uh, in the media. The uh, ultrasonic cleaner, uh, it's, I had it for four cycles of 480 seconds. So that's just um, over half an hour that it was in the uh, ultrasonic. And then I've had the stainless uh, uh, media uh, these brass in there for about an hour and a half so that is roughly uh, what you can see here uh, okay the you now if you can have a look here the um, the 375 the one that I've a couple of them that I've placed in here here you can see the crack on the uh, on the head so this one will separate it did not take off all the marks on it so maybe if you leave it another two hours it will take all those marks off as well and um, but it's fairly clean and 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 and, and bright and shiny uh, there's also some marks that did not come off um, this one here this is a permanent mark that I wrote on uh, it didn't take it off so uh, you needed another two hours or so maybe to to polish that off uh, completely. Something that I've um, uh, picked up and that I've mentioned to you is you can pick basically any one of these uh, cases. Uh, there I just picked two uh, out of the, 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 the uh, batch here and both of them had, have some corn cob stuck in it. So you'll have to get something like this to to clean it out, scrape it out or press it through uh, and see that it falls out okay so that was two there so that was just a random one I can take two on this side over here and yes both of them has got corn cob in as well so once again scraper in there uh, this one is quite tough so it sits hard and press it in doesn't want to come out I'll have to do it from the other side perhaps ah there it comes out and this one over here okay so there it comes out so now it's clean so this is a bit of an irritation for me uh, when you have to sit down and and clean all your brass out from these little pieces of corn cob that get stuck inside your primer pocket now on the walnut side uh, they also look very nice they, they are clean very bright as well uh, I've picked up a couple of them that uh, has some of the walnut pieces also stuck in them uh, not not a lot but here's one that's got a piece in it uh, that's stuck over there uh, so this one you also have to wedge it out and press it out there it goes and and that's out as well so the walnut has basically the same uh, problem as the as the the corn cob um, they tend to keep pieces of the, the uh, cleaning material inside their primer pockets. Now something else that I want to show you, uh, the corn cob, okay, now this is a clean piece of paper, so there's nothing on it there, so I don't want to try and 
and say something or do something that you don't believe here. Uh, so if I take these cases and I start rubbing them in this piece of paper over here. I'll do a couple of them and then you'll see uh, what I mean and the reason why I'm doing this. I'll do this with each and every uh, piece of brass uh, to clean it out on the outside. So there I've got about five or six or so that I've cleaned now. And if you look closely, you'll see there's a lot of uh, blackish uh, marks and so on. So that comes from, that's like a dust that comes off the, um, the, the cases itself. So it accumulates that. So if you take that off the, and if you, if you work with uh, 100 or, or 200 of these brass at one time, then you'll see what I mean, uh, your hands gets all dirty. And uh, so now the paper takes up a little bit of that there. But you can see there's, there's an, a fair amount of dirt. I don't know if you can see that there, but it's all turning black there where I've rubbed it. So that's on the, uh, the corn cob side, the walnut, once again, there's a, a piece of paper, a clean piece of paper. Uh, when you rub that a little bit, it tends to be cleaner. You know, you don't have all that amount of, of cob or the walnut inside there. There were some walnut still on the inside. But it's, it's not as, as, as much. Okay, so that is on the uh, the two different uh, uh, tumblers, the, the uh, corn cob tumbler and the crushed walnut tumbler. Uh, comparison, they ran exactly the same time and, and this is what they look like. So if you have a look at them from the side there, you'll see what they look like. Uh, they clean. Uh, I'm quite happy with the cleanliness of it on the outside. So that's good. Right, now I'm going to show you the ultrasonic. <clears throat> okay, so this is the ultrasonic, the 375 brass that came out of the ultrasonic and there's some of the uh, standard 308 ones that came out of the ultrasonic as well so you can see they are fairly clean uh, if you look on the inside we'll cut some open just now they are clean uh, but i want you to see the difference between that and the ones that i've taken out of the uh, stainless steel tumbler so that is the 375 cases they were fairly dirty and there's your brass coming from the, st the stainless tumbler. So there's a, a couple of them. And you can have a look at the primer pocket. They are clean, completely clean. And the brass is clean. So you can have, you can take any one of those. And you can see the difference uh, between them. Uh, it's very obvious. So here you've got the stainless. And there you've got the ultrasonic cleaner. And this... Is supposed to clean in about eight minutes or that's one full cycle or maybe two full cycles I had it through four cycles and this one I had in there for you know, like I say about an hour and a half of that it compares very good to the uh, brightness of the uh, walnut the uh, stainless steel um, and okay and the uh, corn cob is, itself is also uh, fairly fairly uh, clean uh, on the outside. So the stainless tumbler, the walnut, and the uh, corn cob gives you quite a nice look uh, and appearance uh, from the outside. So what I'm going to do now is uh, I've got a Dremel tool and I'm going to cut up uh, one of each of the uh, 375s. These are all the poor brass, the others, so I don't want to waste them. So let's have a look at uh, what we've got here. So I'll take one of the um, 
ones that came out of the ultrasonic cleaner uh, so it's going to be a little bit noisy so give me a second that we just uh, cut this open completely Okay, so the brass is getting a bit warm, uh, so I'll need to get something to hold it with. So that's why I just quickly switch it off to get a, a long nose plier and let's, let's go on with the cutting of it. So there I've got one piece, we'll just bend it open now, let it just cool down a little bit. So that's one brass that came out of the ultrasonic on the 375. Right, let's go for one that came out of the uh, stainless steel media. So let's give this one a go. So that's one uh, from the ultrasonic, that one is from the stainless and now I'm going to cut two of the others. Um, uh, this one that I'm cutting here will be from the corn cob. So bear with me a second on that one and then we'll cut them up as well. They just get very hot. So. Uh, <clears throat> Okay, so this one is uh, the corn cob, and now the last one is the crushed walnut. So let's give this one a go. 
I'll try and, and, and show you, I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can cut nice and deep into this uh, portion over here where the head separation will take place and then uh, or maybe I, even if I bend it open it will just uh, break off completely so uh, let's go for this one Okay, the blade disintegrated and that's done. So uh, give me a second and I'm just going to replace the blade quickly. Okay, so that one is from the corn cob and um, let's bend them open and see what they look like. So I hope these other ones have cooled down a bit, otherwise they're still going to burn my hand. Okay, so this one is alright, so let's give it a shot. So this one is the uh, ultrasonic cleaner and let's see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, the brass is fairly tough, so I'm going to use two pliers to uh, get this open. So I'll get this one in there as far as possible and then force this one in and I'll just bend them open. quite a, a tough thing here, as you can see brass is fairly hard, so, so this comes out of the ultrasonic cleaner and as you can see there, well it's, it's fairly clean, um, there's not a lot of rubbish inside, uh, it's cleaned it right down to the uh, primer pocket there, there's a little bit of carbon down there still, uh, but the brass on the inside uh, for the ultrasonic cleaner is clean. I mean, I can touch it there. There's nothing coming off there So I think ultrasonic does a nice job of cleaning things although it does not uh, shine uh, that much Okay, so that was the uh, one that was cleaned in the ultrasonic cleaner. Now let's have a look at the one that came out of the corn cob. 
Um, let's, uh, let's go for it. Give it a bash. Okay, so there's the one that came out of the corn cob. As I've mentioned before, it gives it a very good appearance on the outside, but um, from the inside there's still uh, a lot of carbon. And as you can see, this is a, a hard scraper, uh, and it's hard. It, it it really is hard that carbon there. Um, and eventually, this build up here will decrease your um, case volume and and you you will start getting all sorts of funny things happening you, your accuracy goes uh, and so on so that is the uh, corn cob one now let's go and have a look at the uh, one that came out of the uh, crushed walnut so let's have a look at that one we also use some force to get this one open Okay. <clears throat> okay, this is the uh, crushed walnut uh, one that I've just opened up. Um, and it, what, what I thought would happen is exactly that. And that is uh, the case that had some appearance of uh, head separation. So when I bend it open now, it came completely off at that part of the head separation. Now, if we talk about head separation on the inside of this piece of uh, grass, uh, I don't think if you'll see it because it's all black still. Uh, so you can see this is the way that the uh, walnut also cleans. Uh, it does not clean inside, but it does clean outside. But over here, there's a, a small little ridge on the inside. Um, and that is where the head separation uh, takes place. So what you can do is if you've got a, a thin pin, a paper clip, and you just make a, a hook out of it, you can feel it and then you can, oh, there it goes, there's a little um, ditch in it. And uh, so that's how you can feel if there's head separation taking place in your case. But anyway, that is just something else. Uh, but this is what the walnut cleaner uh, case looks like. So last one we're going to open up is the, the stainless steel uh, one and let's see what this one looks like. Okay, this one also had some uh, appearance of uh, head separation and it also cracked uh, on that line there. But there you can see the difference between uh, these ones. So the one that came out of the ultrasonic, uh, this one, it cleaned quite nicely inside. And this is the one that came off uh, out of the stainless steel uh, pin tumbler. So that's also very nice and clean. And uh, this is the type of cleanliness that I like to use when I reload uh, my brass. So outside you've got a very nice uh, sh shiny surface. On the inside your primer pocket is clean. There's no carbon inside there. On the inside of your brass it's, it's also it's, it's reasonably clean. Uh, well, more than just reasonably clean, it's very nice and clean. So that's the difference between four of the medias uh, that I've used. 
uh, that's uh, you can you can place uh, 50 or so in each one of them at a time and it will do the same thing uh, irrespective of uh, the time that you run it uh, so yes uh, that is that is how they look like inside so I know what I'm going to do with the rest of the brass which is not clean I'm going to put them through the stainless tumbler so that everything comes out like this and then I'll be happy with uh, my bras. I'm not quite happy with the ultrasonic one, the inside, what that one looks like. Uh, I'm quite happy with the uh, stainless steel one. So that is what I would like over there. Although the ultrasonic cleans it up nicely. Um, that's that one. And then the two pieces, the uh, corn cob and the uh, walnut. It just doesn't clean it at all. So there's... Um, there's proof that it hasn't cleaned it and um, yeah so gentlemen if you have a look at this you can make up your mind what you want to do but I know what I'm going to do and that is stainless steel tumbler there's one or two small things that you just have to do uh, with a stainless steel tumbler what it, it tends to do on the right on the edge of the neck here there's uh, sometimes there's little nicks in there from the stainless media but uh, you have to uh, cut your case to length anyway or you can just take a deburring tool uh, and you can just deburr it slightly on the inside or chamfer it uh, slightly again but uh, this is uh, the difference the different methods uh, that we have looked at so I hope you've learned something about this and uh, I'll hope to see you again in the next uh, lesson. Thank you very much. Bye.